Okay, so we'll be setting up the sculpture today. So the first thing you do is check out the machine and make sure there's no adhesive or anything caught in the machine from the previous job. And what we're going to do is get the knife out first. So it just unscrews and pulls out. You'll make sure the knife there just sticks out a fraction of a millimetre there. So it just sticks out a tiny little bit. You can adjust it at the back here. So it's only the tiniest little bit here it sticks in. And that goes in the holder here. And then in the holder you can push all the way down and make sure this collar is over the little lip there. Screw it in place. We have that there in place. So now what we're going to do is turn the machine on. So this has a switch down here. And the whole unit has a main switch which is down over here as well for the main switch and the power just plugs straight into the back of that unit here so on the front here it says load media so what we're going to do is go around to the media here so we can load the media here full wheel black mark we only need one black mark on this edge here it doesn't need the side one these units just click in one way and we need to feed a bit of excess off um, for a smaller roll like this you'll see over here we have an alignment so this one here is the one we're aligning to and this is the one here that you normally use there is a second one over here on the edge it's only for using full width media uh, and you'll see corresponding alignment guides here. So we're using the inner ones here and that's what we'll be aligning to that edge. So if we go back over to our roll here, we speed up and through, make sure there's plenty of steam. And then we can use these buttons here to help feed through. Okay, so we should feed that through there. Make sure there's plenty of slack. Okay, we've got the first dancer all the way down here. So this has to go down under the dancer roller. And back up. Make sure everything's nice and straight. Okay, there are the dance bar. We've got giant these guides here. And just to make sure under this bar and then it'll come up to our alignment here so we'll make sure the paper is just on the edge there so can move this one over a little bit further make sure that there lines up nice and even open it rolls up for the cutting head for pushing it down and we'll feed this into the machine So on the machine here, you'll see we've got the camera here, so we'll just roughly line up to the first black mark, and you'll see you've got the pressure rollers here. So while they're disengaged, slide them around, you want them just near the edge, you want both of them just near either edge, so that they're nicely even apart, and then we will click the rolls in place, knowing that that's nice and straight. Once the label roll is loaded into this position here, We've got a few different options on the front screen. So we need to press two for roll to roll. So we're just checking the stock. Make sure that's all fine. Now we've got this in place. What we have to do is turn this half of the machine on. So this machine here has a power switch on the back here. So we'll turn this part of the machine here on, green light, and then we'll screw this one down here. Make sure it's quite firm. And check that the stock is sitting nice and straight. And you're happy with everything. Okay, if we go into the software here, we can open our last job here. So you can see the job here, the two marks, only need a one and what we'll be doing so you have to put in the value 
of the distance between the black marks. This is just a rough value from black mark to black mark, so it knows where to look. Uh, we've got the 2mm or 4mm black mark. This artwork has a 4mm black mark, so let's check there. Uh, we've got cutting force, so how much pressure it puts down. So if it's cutting too deep, you can lower the value. If it's not cut enough, you can increase it. So it's usually around 7, 8 or 9. Then we've got our speed. So up the top here, you see the black mark is right near the camera, but not quite. So what we can do is click on the arrow here to move it and it will keep moving until we find the next mark. So I'll pause it there and you'll see the black marks come up green right in the centre there so we don't need to adjust the camera. If it was off and it was too high low you can move the camera side to side to get it in position correctly. So what we're going to do on the software here is it's got copy mode on and off. So I'll turn that on, copy is one, and then we'll just hit start up here. And the first machine will do its first test cut. Feed it in as it does its first cut, and we'll grab the first one off. Do you notice it's out that way? Black marks at the front here, that way. So if we take this across to your PC, which is that way here, the black marks, we've got to change the Y offset. So if I go negative 10, and we're still doing one of one. Black mark still up there. Hit start. We'll see if it aligns a little bit better. Okay, so I'll grab this one here. Okay, so it's pretty good. You could make some minor adjustments so it is off a little bit. So we can go back through. And we can go that way a few points and get it exactly right. Once we've got everything right for what we want and it's cutting in the correct spot, we can start doing an actual run. So we'll turn off copy mode and we'll just hit start. Now it's starting. We'll make sure it's feeding through there correctly. Okay, so once there's enough to go under the dancer roll here for the second one, we'll grab that. And we need enough material to feed up through the tensioning guide here and up where we want it. So we'll open this part here. center of these two and we got the glass from the jump here as well. Okay. I think we're going to come straight up for a couple of all these. And we go through the top here. So we've got plenty of stock here so we're going to pause it. So on the machine itself you can press the pause button here and it will pause 
and then we can make sure that we get this in the correct spot. These set up here correctly. This is the tension guide, so we only want minor tension. So we'll put it on number three in. So the third hole three. This one here will be on the third hole as well. Make sure they're both the same. Those ones here. We have the splicing unit here, so it's actually got releases at the top of the slide. So it's got three hole positions, two down the bottom here, one up the top here. So at the top here is for loading, sorting everything out. Once you've pulled everything through, we'll drop it down to the middle one, which is there. So this one here, you can see the knives are relatively close to whereabouts we want it. And we can adjust the knives to be the position that we want. Um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to actually pull the waste here off. So the waste actually goes on the other side of the cutting board. So it goes up this far here. And we will the right way, get that all aligned and then tension it on the side here to make sure that it's all in the correct way. So now that okay. Okay. pull that through or we'll just adjust this that roll there and make sure it's turned correctly. Now with this we'll click it down with a bit of force to the very bottom one. Make sure the knives dig in. Okay, then we'll unpause the unit and we'll turn this on here. So this one has a bit here as well to turn on this half of the machine. Okay. So once we've got everything checked, we'll pull the waste off the side here and feed it down. We'll just place up and feed it down here as well. So see there's a little hole here for where the waste can dangle. And once you're happy with everything cut in the correct spot, we can pause it again. We'll cut these off for mess. Take this one here off and loosen it. Okay, we'll put the three cores on. These only go in one way. We'll align the cores for whereabouts we want them. Tighten the cores again. Okay, for this sample we'll just use this first one here. Okay, 
And there you have it. The machine has a few other options. So up here we have optional lemonade, so you can put that over lemonade on top of the roll as well, which feeds up here, goes down through and through this device here to get sandwiched and refresh it in. Uh, if you're using an old lemonade, you'll find you've got to flip the blade just a little bit deeper and maybe a little bit more pressure. So we'll just check it's all going through straight. Check the back is still registering in the center of the PC. Now you can go get a cup of coffee.